Hello everyone and welcome to Tasty City. Today on the menu I'll be showing you how to make this delicious tilapia fish soup alongside with some white boiled rice. It is freezing cold over here so we needed something to keep our body and soul together and I thought I should share this recipe with us all. This recipe is so easy to put together and could be a lunch or dinner idea for you on that raining, snoring or cold day. If you like to see the cooking process then please stay tuned, keep watching and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so to begin, I'll start by washing 4 cups of basmati rice. You may use any rice of your choice and feel free to use more or less depending on the number of people you're cooking for. And the list of ingredients will be in the description box, so please do well to check it out later. I'm going to be parboiling the rice, so I'm not going to be like washing the rice till the water runs clear or something like that. So I'm just going to rinse it for about 3 times before parboiling. In a pot, I have some water already boiling, so to that I'll pour in the washed rice, stir and allow to parboil for 5 minutes. I won't be covering the rice because whenever I'm parboiling my rice, I don't cover the pot, <laughs> but it is totally optional. But for me, I usually don't cover the pot because it will boil over. While the rice is parboiling, I'll quickly introduce the rest of my ingredients and here I have two tilapia fish already cut, cleaned and washed. For the rest of my ingredients, I have one pack of basil. You can also use scent leaf or parsley. Next here I have three teaspoons of my homemade pepper soup spice. Fish seasoning and salt to taste. I have here a quarter of a red bell pepper for some color. Next here I have about one medium sized onion. I'm using one scotch bonnet pepper but feel free to add the pepper according to your taste. I have about one teaspoon of fresh thyme. Thyme does pairs very well with fish so in case you haven't tried thyme before in your fish soup please give it a try i've got some garlic ginger and lastly i've got some blended crayfish five minutes later and our rice is done parboiling so let's give it a good rinse Already, I have the rice in the pot. To that, I'll add some salt to taste, some hot boiled water, stir, cover, and allow to cook on a medium heat till it is fully cooked. While that is cooking, I'm going to proceed to blend my onions, ginger, garlic, peppers, and fresh thyme. If you don't have fresh thyme, you can use half teaspoon of dry thyme. Just scoop that into your blender and blend it with your onions and pepper mix. Alright tasty team, to begin the fish soup recipe, I'll start by seasoning the fish with some salt. 
next add in one fish seasoning cube you may use any seasoning cube of your choice Alright, so at this point, I'll also be adding the blended crayfish, the pepper soup spice, then lastly, I'll pour in the blended pepper mix, and I won't be adding water at this point, I'm just going to cover this up, allow to cook on a medium to low heat for 10 minutes. This will enable the fish absorb all the flavors and get tasty before we add some water. Alright lovely people, this has been cooking for 10 minutes and it smells so amazing. I added some water to rinse out my blending cup. I'll pour that in. Then next I'll pour in some water to cover up the fish and this is hot boiled water because I want the cooking process to continue immediately. Once that step is completed, I'm going to cover this up and allow to cook on a medium heat for 10 minutes. So at this point, I checked on the rice. The liquid was completely dried. The rice was also fully cooked. I'm going to cover and set this off the heat. And at this point, our fish pepper soup is also ready. I will give that a gentle stir, then add my basil. So I have my basil already chopped, I'll add that in, allow to simmer for 30 seconds and our fish soup is ready. Alright my lovely people, we've come to the end of today's video and I hope you like this recipe. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you are not yet already. Feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Until I see you next time with something delicious, stay blessed and bye for now.